Hey everyone, today's video is going to be so fun and so exciting. So in this video, I'm going to show you two different feather nail art tutorials. I'm going to show you a free-handed version where I actually drew feathers on every one of my nails, and that came out really good. I recorded that one a couple days ago, and I wore it for a couple days, but then I wanted to try out real feathers on my nails. So now I have on real feather. Feather hair extensions. I think everyone has feather hair extensions right now. Um, feather print like on tops and dresses. That's really big. Feather jewelry, feather earrings. I actually have on a pair. They have little feathers like um, on the bottom of each strand. They're just really, really pretty. Um, they kind of remind me of like dream catchers, but it took me three attempts before I got it to where it is now. And it's still not perfect, but I think the next time I do it, it's going to be absolutely perfect. So I got my feathers at Michael's, which is a craft store. They're only $1.50 for a whole big bag of them. This is how they look before you cut them up. Different colors you can choose from. There's like hot pink and neon green and all these colors if you want to do something a little bit more out there, I guess. Um, but for my first time, I wanted to kind of do more of a natural look. So that's what I did today. Uh, but it's so much fun, and I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. So let me know in the comments if you like the drawn-on version or the actual feather version. So I hope you enjoy the tutorials, and I will see you after them. Bye! So I'm just going to be painting on like a line. It can be really messy. It doesn't matter really what it looks like. Well, I mean, it does matter, but it can be, you know, a little bit messy. So then we're going to let that dry and then we're going to go in with the last color which is the white. And we want this to look wispy. It looks just like a feather. How cute is that? For my thumbs. Um, I just think this is seriously. Oh, look at all that polish. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of messy, so I still need to clean up that. But um, yeah, I just think this is the cutest manicure ever. Okay, so I've done two so far. I haven't put a top coat on them or anything, but all I'm doing is I'm putting such feet a top coat on top of the blue, sticking the feather on, and then I'm going to do the top coat after all the feathers are on. If that makes any sense, I'll show you. So I'm putting a top coat on so that the feather has something sticky to adhere to, I guess. I'm placing it on. And kind of like patting it in. Actually, let that dry before I cut it off. Um, but that's pretty much all I'm doing. I will do another one to show you guys. Put a top coat on. Pick up the feather. And now, yeah. pat it down. So easy to cut it off. But make sure it's dried or else it's gonna get goopy. See? Just cuts right off. To do the rest of my nails with the feathers, just so I showed you, then I'll come back and show you how I do the top coat. Okay, so now I've finished both hands. I actually think my right hand looks better, which I am right-handed, so you'd think it would look worse. But I kind of discovered that using sharper scissors works a lot better. I don't like the bottom of that one, but I really can't do anything about it. Do kind of a thick layer, and then flip it over. So you can see how much better it looks with the top coat on it. Um, but there's really no right or wrong way to put the top coat on. You just kind of have to figure out which way the feather is going and kind of work with it and just make sure you put a thick coat on. So I'm going to go so put the rest of it. So let me know which one you like better in the comments below. If you have any questions regarding this, then I will absolutely be sure to answer that. I've already gotten so many compliments on the feathers on my nails. I mean, I have feather nails. How cool is that? 
I'm like obsessed with my nails right now. They are so cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you try something similar out. Do send me a photo. I would love to see it. And don't forget to check out my blog, polishandpearls.com. I'll have photos of all of this on my blog and my pedicure that I did, which I still have that on. It's so cute. So I really want you guys to see the pedicure. Um, so I hope this gave you inspiration and you want to try something similar out. Send me a photo or leave a video response and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.